Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Matthew. Today's book is How to Dress a Dragon. Have you ever dressed a dragon? I haven't either. If you have to dress a dragon, you must be prepared to catch him as he flies by. You think that net's big enough? I'm not sure it is. You may have to tickle tackle onto the floor and give him belly kisses. But once your dragon is still, it'll be time to put on his underwear. It's a good thing dragons love underwear, especially froggy superhero ones. Silly dragon! <laughs> Silly kid! You might have to sit side saddle on your dragon and put on his socks. Dragons have very ticklish toes. Silly dragon! Dragons do not like shirts with buttons. Dragons do not like shirts that pull over their heads. Dragons do not like shirts. Uh oh, I wonder what they do like. But they do like capes. Ooh. Dragons prefer shorts instead of pants. Shorts are very much easier to put on with dragon feet. Shoes can be tricky. Dragon, please don't scrunch up your toes. But if you let your dragon wear his froggy boots, he'll be very happy. He's clapping. Dragons are very picky about hats. They will only wear them when they fit nicely between their horns. When your dragon is all dressed, he'll want to go outside and play. That sounds like fun. But beware if he wants to play his favorite game of dragon and knights, your dragon will insist on being the... Who do you think he wants to be? The dragon or the knight? Hmm. Yeah, you could say turn the page, please. Silly knight! So the dragon wants to be the knight, and he wants the boy to be the dragon. The end. Thanks so much for coming to Storytime today, guys. Bye!